What's up everyone? So today we are going to try Valand Display Server Protocol with NVIDIA proprietary drivers on Arch Linux. So I'm on Arch Wiki and it says compositors are basically window managers. It comes with the whole thing. And we have two desktop environments that includes a compositor plus all the other stuff on top of that. Down here we have a list of compositors. I'm using DWM right now on X11 of course. But uh, there is a valent equivalent that's DWL. I tried that. It's not that stable, but it's there. Then there is SVA, a quite popular i3 uh, valent alternative. But today we're going to try GNOME. So let's get started. I'm going into the kernel mode setting. Go to installation. It says note that for any method you use, you should always disable following options that you may pass into the kernel. I generated my grab configuration using grab mk config tool. I have the default one so I don't have any VGA or video options enabled. Neither drivers that make uh, you know conflict it or mess with native resolution. So I'm good to go. Let's jump to the next section. Let KMS start. So these drivers support KMS by default, but not the NVIDIA driver. So we have to manually enable that. Go into that link. To enable DRM kernel mode setting, add NVIDIA DRM mode set one kernel parameter. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to edit etc default grab configuration and jump to grab CMD line Linux default. And I'm going to append the NVIDIA DRM mod set one parameter like so. Save and quit. Next, I'm going to regenerate the grab configuration. So let's run sudo grab mkconfig dash o. And we are going to output the file to boot grab grab.cfg. Okay, there you go. That is done. Okay, next we have early loading. According to the ArchWiki, just adding NVIDIA DRM mod set 1 should be sufficient. But if it is not working for you, then you're going to have to load these kernel modules really early. Now, if you are watching this video for the first time, then you can skip to the next section where we install GNOME and continue from there. But if that didn't work for you, then you can come back to this section where we load these modules when we are creating init RAM file system. So Arch Linux create init RAM uh, file system using MK init CPIO. We are going to edit that configuration for this tool to load these modules. Okay, now let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to edit etc mk init CPIO dot conf file. Let's jump to modules. Now, if you don't have this um, BDRFS module, don't worry. I have added this just because I'm using BDRF instead of ext4. So if you don't have it, don't worry. I'm going to add NVIDIA mod set UVM NVIDIA DRM. Save and quit. Under MK init CPIO, it says do not forget to run MK init CPIO every time there is a NVIDIA driver update. So when you make some changes or upgrade the NVIDIA package, you have to create a new image using the new configurations we have added. So for the first time, we are going to run MK init CPIO manually. From that point, on each and every upgrade, we are going to automate that process using pacman hook. Okay, let's regenerate the image right now. I'm going to run sudo mkinitcpio-p and the package name is Linux. If you're using Linux LTS, use Linux L LTS instead. So I'm going to run this. That is done. Next, we are going to create a pacman hook. On this location, 
let's create that. Apparently there is no directory called hooks at the moment. So I'm going to create that first. Let's do sudo mkdir and create the directory. Once again, we are going to run d8 command. We can add the content. Once again, if you are running LTS, NVIDIA and Linux, make sure to append the LTS to target, but I'm running Linux and NVIDIA packages. So I'm good. Save and close. Okay, next we are going to install GNOME. So I'll run sudo pacman s GNOME. I'm going to install everything. Hit Y. It will take some time. Okay, the installation is done. Now you can reboot your system and I will see you back when I'm in the boot menu. Alright, welcome back. I don't have any other ways to record my screen. So that's why I'm using my camera. And we are in the boot menu. You can hit E key to edit or view the configuration for that particular record. And if you can see the configuration clearly, we have NVIDIA DRM mod set one as an option to Linux. You can hit escape to go back and hit enter to select the menu. We are selecting Arch Linux, of course. It will give me the login prompt. I'll enter my username and password. And I'm going to run GNOME shell and I'm going to add Valen flag and hit enter. That's all you have to do. And we should see the GNOME uh, desktop environment. There we go. Just to show you that we are running well and I will open up settings maybe. Go to settings, then uh, probably under about we will see the windowing system. Well and I, I don't know, maybe let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, there you go. We have a windowing system Valen and to make sure we are running NVIDIA modules, I'll open up terminal. I'll run LS mod NVIDIA. As you can see, we are running NVIDIA kernel modules. I can also run maybe NVIDIA. What is that? SMI. This will give you all the, you know, driver information. And there you go, it's super easy to run Valent on Arch with NVIDIA support. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.